at least 40% of Americans who reach age 65 will spend some time in a nursing home. 10% will stay five years or more. The costs can be overwhelming. One year in a nursing home can range from fifty to $100,000. The statistics are the last three months of one's life, you spend more than you have in your whole prior life together on your medical needs. But beyond the financial costs are the physical risks. The surging number of seniors has fueled the rise of a sinister breed of criminal, predatory caregivers, swindlers out to take a senior's life savings, their homes, even their lives. It is the greatest generation, and it is the greatest generation to ex exploit. Retired Detective Chayo Reyes created a special unit within the Los Angeles Police Department to investigate financial crimes against the elderly. And they're walking away with entire estates and life savings, and they're even committing homicides. And they figured the person was old, nobody's taking a second look that that person may have been starved to death, over medicated, or poisoned. And for law enforcement and prosecutors not to be gearing up for it, it's like seeing that Katrina's coming and not doing anything about it. Skyrocketing home prices mean many of America's seniors are sitting on a gold mine. Already, people over age 50 control at least 70% of the nation's household net worth. Aging and often isolated, seniors are an easy target. They're predators like an eagle. They soar up in the sky and they look down for the victims and they can see the weak ones and they hone in on them, smelling like a shark smells blood in the water from several miles away. They smell the impairments. Prominent elder abuse attorney Mark Hankin has seen it firsthand over and over again. Vulnerable seniors victimized first by predators, then again by an overloaded court system, too busy to care. One judge I'll never forget, he asked me to stop bringing the elder abuse cases that I used to bring in his court. As he said, uh, and I'll never forget him saying this, they tie up my calendar. And these were cases where people were in danger of being killed now.